A Missouri couple is thankful to be alive and recovering in our metro after surviving a small plane crash in southeast Iowa earlier this month. Craig Comstock remembers everything that happened on Sunday, July 9th, when his single engine plane crashed shortly after taking off from the Corden Airport. As we took off, uh, uh, I got about 200 feet off the ground and uh, I, I realized that there was a problem. Craig, who's had his pilot's license for 15 years, had to think quick and remembered something he had read in aviation magazines. One of the best places in that scenario to set a plane down is in a, a grove of trees. So that's exactly what Craig did. About uh, uh, 30, 40 seconds out after I'd made that decision, I said a prayer. I said, Dear Lord, please let Mary, my wife, walk away from this. And then I turned to Mary before impact and I said, I'm sorry, sweetie. And, uh, and then we hit the trees. Craig tells me, he says, I'm really sorry, sweetie. Here comes the trees. And I personally thought this is it. But it wasn't. Go through the trees, flap, 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 all those. And then we stop. And I realized I was alive. You know, I had blood on my leg and my arm was messed up. Grateful to have survived the impact of the crash, Craig and Mary turned their attention to the next danger facing them. Then we smelled the fuel and we heard the fuel running out the wings. And that was a scary moment because then I thought, okay, great, we made it this far. Now we're going to burn up in this thing. She was able to get out to the ground and we realized that there was fuel flowing, still flowing out of the broken wings onto the ground for quite some time and I'm just I'm thinking okay Lord this is it <laughs> I, I had resigned myself to the fact that uh, I was going to burn up in a post crash fire but thanks to the help of first responders and doctor divine intervention a new chapter is just beginning for Craig and Mary Comstock I told the surgeons here at the hospital that that fixed me back up uh, I said, you guys are wonderful at putting back together things that you can see, but I'm here to tell you the uh, creator of, of the universe uh, was at work behind the scene putting together things that you can't see.
a question that I think is very important to me and very important to the country. When you were in office, and I don't know when this happened or if it happened, did you go through the secret files, the UFO documents? <laughs> Because if Maybe. I was president, that'd be the first thing I did. You know, it's funny. My daughters asked the very same question. They did? Yeah. Would you be allowed to tell your daughters what was in those files? Uh, no. You would not? No. Now that you're out of office, you can do anything you want, right? True. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not telling you. You're not telling me. <laughs> you're not telling me what? Are you not telling me that you looked at them? I'm not telling you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Are there really great secrets that you know that you can't share with people? Yeah. Yeah, there are. Uh, and you never write about them? No. It, maybe at a time in your life that no. you're like, oh, I'm 90, I'm going to do it. No. No, nothing. What if, you, what if you were to get, like, a little, like, loopy, you know? You get old and... Start drinking you again? Start, yeah, yeah, start drinking again. <laughs> Guillermo, get some tequila. Yeah. <laughs>